Hi everyone, so my name is Vincent. So today we would like to start our SeaGraph uh, presentation with the title show on the screen. So to, to start with the presentation, so let us go some uh, detail about what is the structure of the coloration. But yeah, so obviously the structure of the coloration actually is the color they produce from the structure. It's not from the pigment, it's not from the dial. So one of the most uh, common example will be the from the natural iridescent that commonly found in the in the butterflies like the insects as well as from the birds feather like this case so the structure colors has been a hot topic in the computer graphics community so we saw there's a lots of works that has been done from um, from the past uh, research works so some of the example like the morpho butterfly wings as well as the snake skin that to create the iridescent of the snake skin and also the salt bubble but for this case so we would love to do uh, with the plasmonic structural colorations so the color actually is arise from the resonant interaction between the metallic nanostructure and the lights so they produce the colors are iridescent so there's a problem over here because we know most of the fabricated sample is not perfectly smooth there is a roughness so for this case, we assume there's a nanoscale roughness on the plasmonic nanostructures. So because of the roughness, so they're going to create a performance difference problems of the fabricated sample. And as well as we're going to have the, some color like difference from what we expect from the smooth plasmonic nanostructure. For this case, so we use a silver nano hole arrays as a case study. And so we use the surface coloration function as shown here to model the surface roughness. So we have two parameters of the roughness we play around in this case. So we have the vertical RMS. So we adjust the height of the, the roughness point and also the coloration length, so which is the spread between the X and Y axis. So for this case, so we run a, a pre uh, FTTD simulation just to see how the roughness uh, effects on the, the plasmonic nanostructure. And so this is the result of the spectral response that we found for the reflectance and the transmittance. So surprisingly, we found it's a like 50% increase of the, the transmittance and a 10% reduction on the reflectance. So because of roughness, so they changed the, the, the reflectance and the transmittance values so drastically. So because of the case, we want to, uh, we want to investigate the structure of the coloration. So what is the next thing we, we propose uh, multi-scale methods? So we start with the, the nanoscale uh, simulations, so which is done by the FTTD simulation to capture the near few scattering interactions. So once we have that, uh, the scattering interaction in near few, so we perform the near few to far few transformation to capture the far few BSDF file. So once we have the far few BSDF file, so we convert all this into the MDL material and we apply it to the 3D model and we use the the physical based rendering to produce uh, the color appearance. So we use our multi-scale approach to study the color difference because of the roughness. So for this case, we have the smooth versus the rough silver uh, nano hole array. And we have two colors over here, so which is for the BRDF colors and the BDDF colors. But we see that because of the roughness, so there's an obvious colors difference between the smooth and the, the rough. So we can see it, clearly see it based on the picture or either from the calculation from the color difference, the delta E. So, but we see that the, the color difference become more obvious when you have the higher vertical uh, RMS values, like five nanometer for this case, as well as we have the lower coloration length as at 25 nanometers. So that shows some very interesting that you know the, the, the roughness they can play around with the color difference that can explain why some of the colors is different than the other in the fabricate, fabricated sample. So to end this presentation, so we create a small uh, virtual experience for everyone to go inside the, the virtual showroom to, to see how the uh, what's the color difference because of the roughness. So feel free to pause this video and use the URL link on the side on the screen or use the phone to scan the QR codes. And so I hope you guys can enjoy it in this room. And so if you have any questions, just feel free to drop it in the comment section below. So we would we would try to answer the question as soon as we can. So and thank you very much.